Hello, this is Howard Pressman, one of the financial planners and a partner at Egan Berger & Weiner. Now, living a rich life is about a lot more than money, and living a happy retirement is about a lot more than financial security. While there is no calculation to come up with happiness, I do feel like it comes down to three key factors. Physical fitness, health, and of course, financial security. In the age of coronavirus, we're being asked to take some pretty extraordinary measures. Like many of you, I'm working from home. However, social distancing does not have to mean socially distant. So today we're gonna to spend some time, we're gonna talk about six technologies that can help you stay connected to the loved ones in your life. So we're gonna talk about uh, Facebook. We're gonna talk about Zoom. We're gonna talk about Google Hangouts. We're gonna talk about FaceTime, WhatsApp, and even online games. So first let's talk about Facebook. Facebook is the largest and most popular social media platform out there. You probably already have an account. Your friends probably already have an account. Um, so it is a great way to get connected with everybody. And it's not just about millennials telling us about what they had for lunch. It's a great way to share updates, share photographs, even short videos, and really stay connected with what's going on in others' lives. Facebook also has Facebook communities. Uh, and Pretty much there's a community out there for almost any interest that you may have. So take a look at those. It's a great way to stay connected with like-minded people. If you are setting up a Facebook profile for the first time, make sure that you check your privacy settings. Very important. Next, we're going to talk about Zoom. Traditionally, Zoom has been used in the business world. It is a video conferencing software application that allows you to talk and to, to be seen on video at the same time. Zoom has made a free application available during the crisis uh, for a download. So take a look at that, um, zoom.com, and, uh, and, and download the software and give it a test drive. It's a, it's a great way to stay connected with the loved ones in your lives and to get to actually see them while you're chatting. So Google Hangouts is another video conferencing software as well. What's nice about Google Hangouts is that you don't need to have a separate application. You can do it right through your web browser. Um, however, you will need a, uh, a Gmail account. FaceTime. So what's nice about FaceTime is it's already installed on, on most Apple products. So your iPhone has it, uh, your Mac, and your iPad too. Uh, and again, it's another way to, to talk with somebody and to see them at the same time. Very simple. You can connect with up to 32 people. Now, the one caveat with that is that everybody's going to have to have an Apple product uh, in order to use that. WhatsApp is a lesser known uh, social media platform. But what is great about that is that you can have texting and telephone calls with friends and family all over the world. And you don't need to have an international calling plan. All you need is your Wi-Fi set up and you can talk with anybody pretty much uh, anywhere in the world as long as they also have access to Wi-Fi. Online games, you know, what a great way to connect and spend some time with the loved ones in your life by playing a traditional board game, but now we're gonna do it virtually. Monopoly, Battleship, uh, Words with Friends, Scrabble, all of these and more have, have applications that you can download, you can play virtually in real time with your friends and family and really spend some quality time together, uh, just like you were, or almost like you were together. So now that we've talked about these six technologies, Let's talk about a few ideas, how you can use it to stay connected with friends and family loved ones. What about having a virtual breakfast? Set up a Google uh, uh, Hangouts or, or a Zoom video uh, and have breakfast together. Talk about what your hopes are for the day and what your expectations are. A really great way to start the day uh, on a positive note and connect with your, with your family. Um, Virtual happy hours, very, very popular. We've done these here at EBW as a way to stay connected with our colleagues. Um, but everybody grabs a beverage of their choice. You set up a Zoom call, you all sit down, unwind, uh, talk about the day, stay connected, catch up with what's going on. A lot of fun, uh, a great way to stay connected. Um, a virtual dinner. We did this last week with my in-laws, even though they're out in California. We set up a Zoom call, we all sat down, and we had a meal together. Uh, and we had a great conversation while we all ate. Uh, again, not quite like being together, but a great way for us to stay connected and have some really uh, quality time with them during this. Um, what about a virtual book club? Grab a book, 
uh, everybody sits around and, and, and talks about the book that you're reading, or even how about reading to one of the young people in your life, grandkids or nieces and nephews? Uh, what about setting up a Zoom meeting and reading to them? Um, great way to, to be a part of their life. And of course, we've already talked about the fun games that you could play. So again, while we have to be maintain social distancing, we do not have to be socially distant and we do not have to be isolated. Technology is going to make this easier on, on us than probably would have been five or 10 years ago. So we hope you found these pointers valuable. Um, we have a lot more ideas. If you want to reach out or learn how to use any of these technologies, we're happy to help you. Uh, reach out at ebwllc.com. Give us a call, email to your, to your advisor. Um, but again, uh, I really wish you all continued health uh, and, and we'll all get through this together. Um, but anything that we can do, please reach out to us. We appreciate, as always, your trust and your confidence. Thank you very much and you take care.